What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video immediately after Aaron Rodgers was reported to go back to Green Bay Russell Wilson was immediately traded to the Denver Broncos in a crazy massive trade so of course today we're going to be doing a Russell Wilson Denver Broncos rebuild before we get into this video guys if you can leave it a like and of course subscribe if you're new would be greatly appreciated and I have a new podcast that dropped yesterday new episode talking about the whole Russell Wilson thing whole Aaron Rodgers thing so if you're interested in that links down in the description below would appreciate some support over there with three of my friends but the Denver Broncos have been searching for a quarterback since the Peyton Manning era to be honest with you so now they finally have one in Russell Wilson as a Washington fan I don't mean to make this about Washington but as a Washington fan I am super sad because i wanted russell wilson but apparently russell wilson just wanted to go to denver and uh you know what this afc west division is gonna be a fun division to watch but if we take a look at the offense right now obviously russell wilson comes in immediately to a good situation he has Corlin sutton jerry judy javante williams around him and then tim patrick one of the more underrated wide receivers offensive line isn't bad either i mean young up and coming star development so it's good it's looking good there and defensively, we'll need some work, but this defense was actually really good last year under Vic Vangio, so uh, we'll have to try to repeat that process. But there's going to be some things we need to take care of. We have $50 million in cap space here, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we can do in order to go ahead and make this team better. So, 81 overall on offense, 77 overall on defense. Uh, the offense wasn't really our worry. I know I just looked at this, but just to fresh my brain a little bit more because I wasn't really... Uh, tight end maybe could be something we look for, but I mean, at the same time, not to say I, we have Albert here who's 24 years old, so we could just rely on him. And then we have Wilson, who's 26 behind him at 60 overall. So offense, although it definitely maybe could use a little bit of more improvement, it's not terrible. And then defensively uh, is really where we need to go ahead and try to see if we can improve because there is definitely some problems here on the defensive side of the ball. We don't have a nose tackle. We don't have a right end. Obviously, they traded him in that trade. Unless we move Kingsley Keek up here, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. And then strong safety uh, we're going to need as well. And then linebacker. So a lot of things we need to do, but $50 million in cash space. Obviously, this team is in the win now mode. So that's what we need to treat. Actually, I don't even have, do we have more than 50 million? Yeah. Okay. Never mind. I only have 50 million. So of course, we're not going to need Demonte Adams. That doesn't make any sense for us. Uh, we don't need corners. That's one of our things we actually don't need to focus on too much. If there was one thing I would do is maybe get an offensive lineman, which wouldn't be bad, but I don't want to spend all my money in one place. Of course, Mike Williams got extended yesterday, so we're not going to need a wide receiver. We got Leonard Fournette out here. So I think I'd... Ooh, Rashad Evans. That actually sounds like a really good uh, player to go for. Uh, we do need a middle linebacker. So, and of course, Bobby Wagner got cut as well. There's just a lot of things going on uh, in the NFL. So I'm very excited. Uh, obviously, free agency starts. Tampering period starts next week. But I'm going to go for Rashad Evans, I think. I think we do. We obviously need a middle linebacker. So I would love to get uh, Rashad Evans here. 103 total points. Uh, that's going to be his number one offer just by a little bit. We're going to need a man in the middle. So I like this offer for Rashad Evans. That's going to be a really nice signing if we're able to snag him. And then corners, like I said, wasn't. We could get Devondre Campbell as well. That wouldn't be bad. And of course, uh, the Broncos have been in on Von Miller as well. That's been a rumor, but I don't see Von Miller in free agency. Would be interested to see if Von Miller would return, though. That'd be really cool, but I don't see him here. Definitely would have tried to have get uh, have gotten him, but he's not here. So um, we also could go for Emmanuel Ogba to plug him on the defensive line that actually sounds like a decent idea we're definitely just going straight for defensive players i think because obviously offense we can maybe get uh i think we have a second round pick still so we can maybe go offensive line and second round or whatever we'll, we'll kind of see but manual Ogba would be cool and then we also needed a safety so i see justin reed out here we have Justin simmons at free safety and quandary Diggs is here we got randy gregory drill Jabril peppers is out here as well that could be a nice one and uh for the first time in history I actually used Madden's real life roster. So this free agency looks totally different. I used to, I keep, I used to use active roster, but this gives me the draft class in order. I'm just such a bum for not using this before, but uh, drill peppers at strong safety would be really nice as well. This is going to continue to try to improve the defense, but the free agency just looks so much better using the real life roster instead of using active roster. So I'm very happy about that. And Alexander Johnson was also a free agent for Denver. So we're going to try to get him as well. And that's going to be quite a bit of signings on uh, defense. And then I want to take a look at the nose tackle position as well. So you got uh, Fatuskowski, Linval Joseph, you got Derek Nadi here. So, I mean, any of these guys would be solid. There's just so much more variety. I'm happy about this. I finally figured this out. But I think I'm going to go to the top here. We're going to go look at uh, Fatuskowski. I don't know how to say his name, but 
uh we're gonna try to get him and like i said we are literally just trying to build a super bowl roster here because obviously russell wilson is here now and uh, we're looking to go win it all obviously so let's go take a look at free nc day one we got rashad evans agba Jarrell peppers out there johnson and uh Batusk f f I, I don't know how to say his name but let's see if we get lucky and get every single one of them that'd be great obviously spent a lot of money in free agency but this is to put the defense back on top like we need it to be so paying everybody a lot of money seems to work out we pretty much got everybody we offered so rashad evans bradley chubb we're gonna need another outside linebacker but i need to move ogba to the other side of the defensive line so we'll have that looking like that and then we're gonna need an outside linebacker still so we might still be able to address that i'm not sure uh, as far as corners, that all looks good. I think we have three solid corners. Ronald Darby, Patrick Sertain, and then uh, M.O. behind. I'm not going to pretend I know how to pronounce that last name. And then offensively, um, again, tight end is still maybe something we could look at. Uh, but right guard, I mean, it is a little lackluster. But uh, for the most part, this team looks really good. I think I just generated and put some other players in we weren't seeing. So uh, very happy about that. This defense looks a lot more improved. Uh, 80 overall right now obviously in the tough division we're gonna have to be better so um got everybody to sign only four million dollars now so not gonna be a ton of ways to obviously uh improve in free agency anymore i mean it would be cool to maybe get someone else but i don't think it's gonna be possible so we're gonna probably head straight towards the draft where i finally have the draft order correct i'm such an idiot and i always was wondering how other youtubers get the draft order correct the way they did and all you have to do is click use real life roster it was that simple such an idiot but we finally fixed it let's go into this draft i think we have one second round pick uh because denver broncos had multiple seconds but the unfortunate part Matt, about madden this still happens a lot like i said we do have a late second round pick not really sure where that pick is from i know uh like i said in madden at least the denver broncos had two second round picks they were able to trade in 2022 uh, obviously we traded one of them for russell wilson because that was what's in the trade and uh you guys probably i didn't even recap what the trade was and i apologize but obviously if you didn't know it was like noah font uh drew Locke, and then shelby harris over to the seattle i'm sure all of us know if you clicked on this video what the initial trade was so apologies if i didn't recap it but we do need a linebacker so that's kind of what i'm maybe gonna look at here we got owen and brent cox on the board we got david bell so i think in a linebacker would be uh probably the best bet here so that's probably what we're gonna go for one of these two linebackers at the top one out of auburn and one out of florida so which one do we think looks better so got question marks across the board here we got a injury f man coverage b awareness and d impact blocks so brendan cox got f coverage and then uh, as far as owen is here we got question marks f injury d catching f power moves f stamina uh so neither one of them look all that great so i guess i'll just go with uh Brenton Cox out of Florida here and hope he's just decent. So we'll draft a linebacker, only normal development. And then uh, let's go to our third round pick. And then after the third round pick, I'll probably call it good in the draft. And we can take a look at our lineup and kind of see how this Broncos team would perform. I don't even know if we'll make the playoffs at all in this video. The AFC West, like I said, is going to be a dogfight. So it's going to be interesting. We actually scouted Haskell Garrett like crazy. So we might as well just try to maybe go for him. B power move, C block shedding. And then I know he's uh, star development or hidden development. So I'm going to go ahead and draft him. Uh, we scouted him a lot. And we actually have another third round pick. So let's go to our uh, 31st pick in this uh, third round. And let's take a look what we can get for uh, this third round pick. So let's see what we still have available to us. David Bell, Nolan Smith, Kennedy Brooks. Um, do we go ahead and draft like another running back or another wide receiver? Or maybe we could even look at tackle if we wanted to. There's a lot of things we could go here. But um, I might draft another running back because we didn't resign Melvin Gordon. So we have Kennedy Brooks and Noah Kane. Obviously, running backs do kind of... Uh, you know, they're pretty easy to get, but I'm going to go ahead and draft Kennedy Brooks here. He's going to be a hidden development running back here in round three, late round three pick. So I'm going to call it good after that. Uh, we got another running back with Javante Williams, which feels pretty good. So let's go ahead and see what this Broncos team is going to look like going into this next season. So only listed up as an 80 overall. We obviously need the offensive line to kind of develop like crazy. We have a 23-year-old left guard. I think Lee Lloyd Cushenberry is pretty young. Yeah, 24. And then uh, Garrett Dalton Reisner, I believe, is like, uh, no, he's 27. So yeah, I mean, the offensive line is just going to need to develop. But uh, there's a lot of promising players there. We also have this guy just sitting right behind uh, Glasgow or Glass, however you say his name. So uh, maybe I could have looked into cutting some players to free up some money, but at the end of the day, it's whatever. So in the defensively, um, this is what we look like. Obviously, Brenton Cox, uh, we'll probably start him, actually. There's no reason not to. So then Haskell Garrett's kind of buried in uh, the defense of line. But this all looks good to me. I mean, we're at 80 overall, so we really don't know what to expect. Obviously, this kind of uh, 
relies on Russell Wilson's shoulders on how good we'll actually be. I have a weird feeling we're not going to make the playoffs just because this division is going to be so tough and we're only listed at an 80 overall, but uh, maybe with some uh, development on the offensive line and some other positions, maybe we could go up to an 85 or I don't know. That might be too optimistic, but uh, let's go ahead and see if we can make the playoffs at the very least. Interestingly enough, we have the Seattle Seahawks in our first game of the preseason. Not that that matters, but let's go make the postseason maybe. So actually, never mind. We actually ended up 12 and five on the season. So my doubts were definitely not justified. We went, uh, Chiefs went 14 and three and Raiders went 11 and six. And honestly, would not be surprised if that's how division looked like in real life. Because like I said, this division is going to be insanely nice. It's going to be crazy. All the games are going to be fun to watch. It's going to be back and forth. So, um, but looking at all the progressions, let's see, we're up to an 80 overall still, but I think that could go up next week. Uh, if we take a look at the stats real quick and kind of see what went uh, right here. So offense was 18th in the NFL, which is great. And then defensively, we were uh, sixth in the NFL. So defense was back on top where we needed to be. 31 touchdowns and 12 interceptions from Russell Wilson. Great season for him. And then rushing wise, Javante Williams, 1,100 yards, 10 rushing touchdowns. That's also really good. And then Kennedy Brooks got some uh, run there a little bit. Uh, with 323 yards on the ground for him and the receiving wise Sutton with 1200 yards Jerry Judy with a thousand Tim Patrick with 800 uh tight end Albert had 500 yards as well KJ Handler with 200 so looking good there and of course got to look at the defense and see how this did so Bradley Chubb uh wow Emmanuel Ogba came in really good season 16 and a half sacks love to see it and Bradley Chubb 11 and a half Brent Cox came in six and a half sacks so that's also really good to see and then Draymond Jones four Alexander Johnson two and a half and Rashad Evans with two and a half as far as interceptions wise we had four from Michael uh Ojemadi, I think is how you say it maybe I'm uh saying that right I don't know Justin Simmons three and then Jabril Peppers two Rashad Evans with one and then did we have any defensive touchdowns I mean we were really good defense but no no safeties and uh one block kick. actually we did have some safeties it just wasn't showing me Amanda Ogba had one and Draymond Jones had one as well, but no touchdowns. All right, so we are playing the Tennessee Titans in round one. We are going to Tennessee. The Chiefs won our division, which isn't surprising, obviously. But let's go ahead and jump in and see if Russell Wilson can win his first playoff game in here in Denver against the Tennessee Titans, which isn't going to be easy, but we'll see what happens. So we got a night game here in Tennessee. Ryan Tannehill is the man at quarterback for Tennessee still, obviously. So let's go ahead and see if he can come out and win this game. It is a 0-0 game, uh, still 0-0. Uh, defense obviously really good so they're getting stops but our offense isn't doing anything i wonder if tennessee's defense is really good too because nobody has scored yet until now finally a touchdown is on the board russell wilson and the broncos get a score we got to go put out 14 now no we are just holding the titans to zero okay not not anymore uh still no score 10 to 7 okay this is a very low scoring game not really sure what's going on um tennessee could i was about to say tennessee could definitely take the lead here they still don't have the lead and wow what a disappointing playoff game 10 to 14 only putting up 10 points is not what you want to see out of a quarterback like russell wilson uh defense played great their defense played really good too i guess but really disappointing ending to our first season where we lose to the tennessee titans 10 to 14 should have easily have won that with the amount of points that were on the board russell wilson very underwhelming 196 yards 57 percent completion rating Definitely need to come back, and we definitely need to be better than this. We'll run it back one more, or probably a couple more. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We still have $37 million in cap space with six players ready to negotiate their contracts. So let's see who are free agents. We got Dalton Reisner, Bradley Chubb, and Draymond Jones. So definitely some guys we need to bring back. Uh, hopefully they don't take up too much of my money, but I think it is important we keep offensive linemen for Russell Wilson, obviously. That has been a problem his whole career, not having a good offensive line. So if we keep Don Reisner, that's great. Bradley Chubb, I want to keep around as well. And that'll free up. That'll leave us about uh, $18 million in cap space if we get him and Bradley Chubb is back. So that's great. Thank everyone else. I'm going to go ahead and let walk. Uh, Draymond Jones, we can maybe revisit him. But I feel like we could probably get an upgrade in free agency. Uh, but the team was disappointing. Playoffs were not, you know, didn't go as planned. So uh, I'm glad we made it. But only putting up 10 in the playoffs is just disappointing, especially with the offense that we have. Take a look at the team. Russell Wilson. Uh, offensive line still looking good i mean we could almost just go ahead and bench Gla i mean let's see what glasgow's contract is looking like he's 31 years old so do we even really need him anymore i uh, release him would free up about 11 million dollars cap room but incur a penalty of ah we're doing that we're freeing up 11 million dollars by releasing glasgow and then we're going to rely on the young offensive lineman we have here and the star development offensive line we have tight end actually was pretty solid he's up to a 76 overall so still don't feel like we need to address anything on offense i like what our offense looks like offensive line is improving obviously and then defensively uh alexander johnson's down brenton cox so we did lose our right end and then maybe a corner okay so i feel like we could use a corner 
and a right end. That's probably gonna be the most important thing. Or it could even get a little weird and move Pascal Garrett or something. We could do that if we need to, but well, we're freeing up $11 million. I feel like we could probably get a corner and a right end pretty easily. So let's go ahead and prove that. So uh, calf space wise, we're $29 million. Uh, so that's good. TJ Hawkinson. I mean, obviously we have a tight end, but getting a 26 year old TJ Hawkinson would not hurt. Aaron Rodgers is a free agent now. Obviously we uh, reported yesterday. Ooh, Von Miller is here. Dude, I kind of want to do it because it was like a rumor. I, I like, I really want to do it. Chandler Jones is here. Um, Yannick and Gawkway, though. I don't know, man. What do we want to do? Von Miller is obviously up there in age, but first and foremost, I'm going to go for a corner. Stephon Gilmore, Casey Ward, Bryce Callahan, James Bradbury. 25-year-old uh, Byron Murphy sounds pretty good to me. Obviously, we have our number one corner in Patrick Sertain. We just kind of need depth here, so I'm going to go for Byron Murphy at corner. Ronald Darby is actually another cat. Oh, you know what? I didn't even think about this, but I think we could also maybe cut Ronald Darby because we have uh, Michael Algelari, however you say his name. I forgot how you said it. Probably said it wrong there, but if we take a look at Ronald Darby, we might be able to cut him as well. Uh, Ronald Darby, where are you at, my friend? Uh, $10 million freed up penalty. Yeah, that'll free up about $10 million. So let's definitely do that. Since we're going to get Byron Murphy, don't see the point of uh, keeping Ronald Darby. And is there anyone else that I'm looking at and be like, hey, maybe we should just get rid of him as well? Not really. Nobody that's really standing out to me. So I think we got the guy we wanted to get rid of. So that frees up even more money. So that gives us the ability to actually go for Von Miller if we really want to, because although we have Brenton Cox, you know, it would not hurt to bring, oh, I didn't mean to do this. I didn't mean to uh, click on lineup, but you bring in Von Miller, it does. And I feel like Broncos fans would be happy if we did it. So I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sign Von Miller, move him to the other side, one year deal, come win a Super Bowl in Denver. We'd love, we'd love for that to happen. So Von Miller and Byron Murphy are gonna be my offers and then the other one we needed was a end, right? So I would love to go for TJ Hawkinson, but we do need a right end more than anything. So Yak and Gakway, uh, we got, you know what? We might actually get, you know what? Actually, I know what we're going to do. I know what we're going to do. Tight end though, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for TJ Hawkinson. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get him. He might cost too much. Obviously, we don't really need a tight end, but I'm going to, ooh, we can't. Let's see. Can I get him? Might need to free up a little bit more money from somebody. Let's see. With that, oh, we still can't do it. Okay. How about that? No? Okay. And that's probably not going to be good enough. 89 total points. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get TJ Hawkinson. Unfortunate. Uh, actually, you know what? I might cut some players and come back to this because, you know, it would, be, it would be really cool to add another weapon for Russell Wilson. So just like that, we were able to free up just a little bit more money and we got TJ Hawkinson to be our brand new tight end here in Denver next to Russell Wilson. So that looks awesome. All right, man. Von Miller also accepts that Von Miller is back in Denver. So I'm not really sure how I want to handle the right end position. Uh, we got to figure out who would fit best to move uh, down the defensive line. We could definitely just move Haskell Garrett around if we wanted to. Uh, if we just wanted to put him at right end or something like that. Or we could get... Uh, Bre is Brendan Cox somebody we could throw at right now? I don't Speed rush for 71. Pass coverage. So I guess we could technically maybe throw Brendan Cox down. I don't, I'll see what works best. And we'll go from there and then we'll be ready for this next season. So this is what the offense looks like as we have Russell Wilson, Javante Williams, Kennedy Brooks, Corlin Sutton, Tim Patrick, Jerry Judy with TJ Hawkinson and uh, Alec, I believe it was a tight end. Then Don Reisner, Moody, Cushionberry, Miners and Garrett Bowles, which looks really good. And then defensively, obviously we added Von Miller and then we have Bradley Chubb. And I moved Brent Cox down to right end. Byron Murphy is our second corner with Patrick Retain and then Michael Ajamati. And then Justin Simmons and Jabril Peppers. So, yeah, I think another good season is in order. Hopefully, we kind of get a repeat of last year. Maybe this time we can actually win our division. That'd be really cool. But we're going to celebrate this season uh, with the brand new looking roster. And let's uh, let's see if we can make the playoffs. So, at the end of the season, we once again went 12-5. and five. And looking at his division again, Raiders went 12-5. and five, Chiefs went 12-5. and five, And we get the Las Vegas Raiders here in round one. Obviously, round one last year, wild card weekend was horrible for us. So if you go take a look at the stats this year and kind of see how things looked. Uh, so offense was first in the NFL this year. That is great. We love to see that. And the defense was third. So top three on both sides of the ball. Russ Wilson, 38 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. Again, rushing wise, Javante Williams, 1,000 yards on the season. Receiving Sutton, once again, really good. I mean, he has just benefited with Russell Wilson coming over and then Jerry Judy, 900 yards. TJ Hawkinson with 700. So the offense just looked that much better. And then defensively, if we take a look, sacks wise we had 14 from von miller so came back to denver was an absolute beast bradley chubb with 11 and a half for shot happens with four emmanuel ogba kind of came back to earth a little bit but we'll take and then brent cox had three interceptions wise three from von miller so even von miller's getting some interceptions retained for uh with three and then simmons with two 
uh, Jamar Johnson with one, and then one from Byron Murphy. So everything looks pretty good uh, on both sides of the ball. I mean, we just need to go in and perform like it. So let's go see if we can go beat the Las Vegas Raiders. This will be in Denver because we won our division. We just must have had a tiebreaker. Let's upgrade everybody real quick. And uh, we should be ready to go see if we can beat the Vegas Raiders. So jumping right into this, we're looking at an 83 overall team gets an 82 overall. Let's see if we can go win this game. So here we go. Let's go see if we can start this game off fast. We go up 7-0, to zero, but the Raiders are good in their own sense. So this is going to be a back and forth game, but we go up 14-7. to seven. Need that defense to get a stop, but they do not. And looks like we might have turned the ball over there. 14-14. Now it's 21-14 for the Raiders. And... Now they're up 28 to 14, uh, but we do go down and put up a field goal, get an interception, and we don't do nothing with it. How do we not score, man? Come on. Russ, what are we doing? We can tie it up at the end, though, and we do. Oh, can we get a stop? Oh, man, 22 seconds left on the clock. How am I supposed to score with 22 seconds? There's no way. Wow, 34-31, man, that is so unfortunate. This is actually how it's going to end, huh? Oh, that sucks. Okay. All right, I can't take a sack here. I cannot take a sack, and I'm already just giving... Wow, this is unfortunate. I'm going to just need to get closer, I guess. We're going to need to get to the field. I don't even know we can get the field. I mean, if Patrick Mahomes could do it, I could do it, right? Let's go. Uh, first play, though, was terrible. So, uh, ooh, I like Sutton and Press, though. That always looks good to me. So, uh, is he there? I'm going to chance it. I'm going to chance it. Sutton, please be there. Ugh, 12 seconds left. 34-31. Not looking good for us. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, one last chance, 12 seconds. I mean, we might be able to get Jerry Judy, though. I kind of, I, I need someone to do something, man. Please, Judy, can you burn your guy for me? Can you do it? Ugh. Not much I can do there. Four seconds left, and we're going to lose to the Raiders in round one again, man. We cannot win a damn playoff game whatsoever. We just can't get it done. Got to run it back one more time. Third time, maybe will be a charm. It's not working so far. We, we're bad. We have $70 million in cap space to resign our players. I think this is also because Russell Wilson, I believe, is a free agent. So that's something we're going to have to take a look at. So Von Miller, of course, Russell Wilson's down, uh, down, now down to an A2 overall. And we have a lot of free agents. So um, since this is a title of the video, I think I am going to keep Russell Wilson for sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and offer him a one-year contract. That's going to be half our cap space. But... Uh, he is the title of the video, so I'm just going to keep Russell Wilson for this last season we're about to have. Jerry, Judy. Uh, we're probably just going to be able to have... To, we're probably only going to be able to resign everybody. And then after that, it's probably not going to work. So offensive line is going to be important as well. So let's make sure we get Lloyd Cushenberry back. Get all these guys back. So um, Lloyd Cushenberry, welcome. And then uh, we got Moody here as well, 25. So uh, run it. we're probably running it back, like I said, one more time. So we'll have Moody here and then... Uh, Michael Algemati. I mean, we do have, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and resign him as well. Von Miller probably won't come back, I assume, after all this. So uh, we'll sign Algemati. And then, I mean, the only other thing I could do technically, which I might actually consider it, is I think I could franchise tag Von Miller, which I wouldn't necessarily do that right now in real life. Uh, well, let, let's see. If I offered him like a terrible offer, um, yeah, free agency, and then. We could franchise tag a 35-year-old Von Miller, which I would never do in real life. Uh, but since I really don't care about going to free agency and trying to figure out what I can do, I'm just going to try to keep the team the same. And wow, I just really franchise tag Von Miller like that. But whatever. I, I kind of wanted to keep him and keep him on this train. So uh, this team, I'm not really sure what to expect in this next season. I mean, the team still looks pretty solid um, uh, defensively. I mean, it could use some work in middle linebacker, but it is what it is. We're going to have to run with what we got. Kept Von Miller around with the franchise tag. Um, so we'll just see how it goes, man. I don't really know what to expect, but third time could maybe be a charm. First and foremost, you have to make the playoffs again, obviously. But then after that, maybe we can get something done. So literally, once again, we went 12 and 5. We get another chance. Third time, maybe will be a charm this time. We'll see. I'm not really, I'm not really sure what to expect. We're just gonna go. At, well, I guess we'll look at the stats real quick. So take a look at the stats. Third time, like I said, could be the charm. Offense was second in the NFL. And then defense, let's see, was uh, seventh in the NFL. So once again, top 10, both categories. Uh, Russell Wilson, still a great season. Javante Williams, Sutton, still been very good. And then uh, defensively, we franchise tagged Von Miller, and uh, he gave us 10 sacks. Obviously, in real life, you don't franchise tag like a 35-year-old or whatever he was. But uh, I just wanted to keep him for the video. So I didn't want to just lose him for nothing. Probably should have done it in a different way, but whatever. We're jumping in. We're playing the Cleveland Browns. They're at home because uh, they won division. 
Can we beat them? Can we finally win a playoff game? So we're going up against the Cleveland Browns, who I believe still have Baker Mayfield here. So uh, we'll see how this goes. They went eight and nine to our 12 and five. So we start off and get a stop. Seven to seven ball game though. And we go up 14 to seven. Okay, this looks more promising maybe. Just depends though. And we are going to go down 17 to 14. Gonna need some points here. We let them go up 14 to 20. Gonna need a score and 14 to 20 or 21 to 20. And we go up 28 to 20. That's looking good. Cleveland is gonna tie it up though. 28 to 28. Another close game. We've been in a lot of close playoff games. 35 to 28. Can we go ice? Yes, we can. We're finally, finally going to a playoff game with Russell Wilson. We're on to the divisional round. Let's go see who we get to play. And maybe we can get to the AFC Championship. So we are in the AFC Divisional Round. And we get to play the Jacksonville Jaguars. I mean, it is safe to say the Jaguars could potentially be this good down the line as far as we went in uh, to the years, obviously. So let's just go ahead and see if we can come in and beat Trevor Lawrence and the Jags. So we get the ball to start things off. We score immediately. Another interception. 14-0. So this is a good start so far. But they do put a touchdown on the board. 16-7 for us. We got a safety, which is cool. And uh, can we, nope, we let them get another touchdown. But we are going to go put up a field goal. It's 19 to 14. Jaguars take the lead by one. And uh, we get the ball back. Let's see if we can go 22 to 20. Another field goal. 27. This is like one of the weirdest scores I've ever seen. But 30 to 20 or 30 to 34. Going to need a score here. We don't get it. And we lose 30 to 34 in the division round to the Jacksonville Jaguars. So no Super Bowl success with Russell Wilson, at least here in Madden. Obviously, we'll see what happens in real life, but we're going to lose to Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars in the division round. I guess at least we want a playoff game in this video, but, you know, obviously the expectation for this team is probably to go maybe to the AFC Championship or the Super Bowl. We weren't able to get it done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about Russell Wilson to the Denver Broncos. And tomorrow, of course, we will be doing a Seattle Seahawks rebuild on their side. So thank you guys for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.